Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is the first of several hauls to come. And the first haul that I have like all the products that I've ordered so I can group them all together is Sephora. This is uh, a reusable grocery bag full, completely jam packed full of Sephora products. I, I totaled everything up. And let's just say it came to $880 after tax and shipping for whatever orders. There are multiple orders. I think I had like five different separate orders. And that's just because like I kept wanting different products and different sales and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go through everything. And then we are going to try to make a full face out of it. Given however long this video ends up being. So the first things we'll kind of run and skim through are going to be skincare products. Just because I'm not going to perform them during this video on camera. The first one that I have here is Laneige. This is a vitamin brightening cleansing water. And and I was kind of excited for this because I do really like the Laneige lip products. So I was hoping I would like this. What I really like about this is it has a pump, which most of my toners and cleansing waters don't. So I was really excited for this one. I'm gonna have to just start a pile next to me. Next, I did not know that Sephora carried The Ordinary, which was really exciting. This is the vitamin C suspension 23% with HA Spears 2%. I have plenty more The Ordinary to come, which this is The Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors in HA. This is a surface hydrating formula, which I'm also very excited about. The nice thing about The Ordinary is they are super affordable, like super affordable. I have an Ulta haul to also come and I also ordered a bunch of The Ordinary and some of them are duplicate because I didn't realize what I was ordering because I was kind of on a spree. But this is another The Ordinary. This is the, I'm going to pronounce this wrong. This is the Spagbalane, Bualane, Spagbalane cleanser. What is this one? Oh, this is, okay. See, that's what I thought. This is a little bottle. I'm excited for that. I already have too much makeup and I already have too much skincare, but like I can't help myself. I'm very compulsive, especially during quarantine when I'm stuck at home and I can't do anything else besides online shop. The next product that I have is another The Ordinary. This is the Glycolic Acid 7% Tony Solution pH 3.6. I didn't realize I already had one of these and then I ordered that one and one from Ulta, so I have three bottles now, which is kind of excessive. So hopefully it's good. I have some Peace Out Acne Dark Spots. And I've seen this brand in, in Sephora a lot, but I've never actually tried this particular one. I've tried other brands of the Acne Dark Spots, like Overnight Patches. I have another Laneige product. This is the Water Sleeping Mask. Again, I really like the Laneige lip product, so I'm hoping for the best here. This is the Drunk Elephant Juju Bar. So I've actually tried this product before and I tried it in the mini form. It also came with like a, another bar. And I used to love this product. And they, in my local Sephora, when I would bought it previously, they only had the mini duo and that's why I got that. And I was obsessed and I'm like, why have I never repurchased this in a big bar? So I picked up one of these. I have been obsessed with watermelon products lately just i feel like they make my skin feel really nice so i bought the sephora these are the hydrating watermelon cleansing wipes so i'm excited for those i've not opened these yet let's smell them oh they smell so nice and fresh like these this is a lip product these are the jack black not that jack black i don't think but these are the lip trio so we have a pineapple mint a natural mint and the shea butter with vitamin e and they are all spf 50 they're all spf 25 which is really nice since it's been crazy hot in an index of nine here so i mean excited for these these are intense lip therapy so love that this is from milk cosmetics this is the melatonin overnight lip mask i love lip masks i am kind of obsessed with them i really do feel like they do a lot i feel like they like do more moisturizing than like your normal lip balm i just want to see if this has a smell it smells like just generic lip balm and okay with that i like my Laneige ones they smell like certain specific things which i'm obsessed with but like this will be kind of nice if i don't want like a scented one so that's really cool and i do really like milk products okay took me a minute to dig through the bag because i've actually already used this product this is the glow recipe it came in a trio this little trio this is the watermelon glow ultra fine mist I've tried this before because I had bought it on Amazon actually over Christmas and I love 
the mister on this love how fine it is like it is absolutely amazing and it smells so good and it's so refreshing love 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 this and when it came in a trio i wanted to obviously try the other products and this is the watermelon glow sleeping mask love this i it's again smells absolutely amazing it is very thick but thin but super moisturizing and it just comes in this little mini one so you can see if you like it or not and then game changer this is the glow recipe banana souffle moisturizing cream it smells just like banana laffy taffy obsessed and it is so nice on the skin for like a daily use like during the day it's not like super like thick or overpowering and it just smells so good i love 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 this so freaking good next we have a this is by Tarte. This is a micellar magic makeup remover and cleanser. I just got a mini one just to see if I would like it for sure or not because I don't want to make a commitment to something if I'm not 100% sure if I would like it. But then I also got the Sephora waterproof eye makeup remover just because I don't have any eye makeup remover. I always just use like my normal makeup removing pads or wipes and I feel like I get just eye makeup just stuck for days, especially like mascara. So I'm hoping this will be good. I also have the, oh, I'm gonna say this wrong. And I've heard this name a million times and I'm still gonna say it wrong. Oakland Hen Hendrickson? O Ola Hendrickson, I think? I don't know. I have this in the Balancing Force Oil Controlling Toner. I have a oil problem on my face and I'm open to trying new products if it's gonna help my face from becoming oily throughout the day. Next, this is the Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub. And I thought this was a bar, but now I'm wondering. No, this is a cream. Ooh, this is such a cute little packaging. And I love that hollow. Again, I'm a sucker for face products. I really am. Anything to make my skin better than it already is. Next, I don't know where my box went, but I've already used this. This is the Boxum. What is this? This is the Power Plump Lip Balm. And this is one of the more like clear colors. I like this because it doesn't really have a smell, but it has that tingling factor to kind of like plump your lips, which duh. Next, we have the Pharmacy Honey Butter Bee Wax Lip Balm. I really like Pharmacy. I have one of their moisturizers and I like how like nice and more natural and lightweight it is so when i saw that they had a cute little lip balm i am a sucker because more times than not i don't wear makeup so if i can wear just like a lip balm and throw on like a mascara or something i'm good to go unless i have a bunch of break out so i might throw some concealer on it next i was really debating this one but i couldn't help myself i got the Huda beauty this is a diamond balm and this is in shade seductress how the heck do i open this I mean, it's so pretty though. Like, first of all, this packaging is just so nice. And then, oh, look at that sparkle. Oh, it doesn't really have a smell, but super excited for that. Again, just love lip balm. Another lip balm. This is the Anacids Free My Lip Balm. I think that's how you say that. And this is in shade Mint Emerald Gray 06. So I'm pretty sure if I remember right, this is more of a pink one. Oh yeah. This actually gives me like glossier vibes. Like the packaging. Is it pink? Oh yeah, that's a color I could definitely get behind. So it's more of like a very nice neutral nudie pink gloss. And I do like that type of applicator. I've been obsessed with my Laneige like lip balms. Okay. And then I did get some Sephora masks. So I got the Sephora Moisturizing and Brightening Mask. I got the Perfecting and Brightening, which those are both brightening. And then because I did multiple orders, you get to choose from there, or I got to choose. I don't know if they still have the promotion going on, where you get to choose like a little kit. And so I got like a acne kit, an aging kit, a like moisturizing kit, and then of course <laughs> other free samples. So this is... I'm gonna like blow through these. So we have some Dennis 
Dr. Dennis Gloss sample. We have some Drunk Elephant sample. More Ole Hendrickson, I can't pronounce, sample. Oh, here's that other mask that I got. Soothing and Depuffing. This is the Becca Concealer Cover FX. This is the Super Goop Sunscreen. This is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt. This is Fab Face Cleanser, more Cover SX. This is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Vitamin Green Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Cleanser. This is the Clinique Hydration Base. This is the Anthony Facial Cleanser Fresh Deep Hydration. This is the Cola D. I don't know how to pronounce that. Serum sample, another Clinique, Clon Clinique moisturizing lotion. This is the YSL foundation. Santi Shanti Dardine retinol. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one either. I'm really bad at this. Um, this is the No Worries Hydrating Moisturizer. This is the Kai Hells Powerful Line Reduction Concrete. I think that's how you pronounce that one. I don't know. I'm really bad. Super Goop sunscreen. Uh, Good Jeans acid treatment. Kate Somerville exfoliating cleanser. Oh god, another one I don't know. Al Glenist collagen. I don't. This is Hum Daily Cleanse. I got a full, well not full size, but 0.2 or six milliliters of Clinique foundation and concealer sample. This is the Photo Finish by Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer. This is the C Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Brightening Serum. This is the Sephora Super Matte Mattifying and Hydrating Moisturizer. This is the Clear Start Breakout Cleansing Booster. Another Fresh, oh no, this is a different one. Fresh Youth Preserve Moisturizer. This is Dr. Jart, which I do like that one. Priming Moisturizer. This is a Melt Cleanser, I think. Yep, Cleanser. This is a Skin Fix Triple Liquid Serum. Another Fab, oh no, this is a different one. Fab Repair Cream. A No Worries Hydrating Face Moisturizer. This is a Becca Highlighter. This is a, oh this is that brand, I can't pronounce again. In NX Free Clay Mask. I don't know how to pronounce that brand. This is a Super Goop uh, Sunscreen. This is a Josie Moran Serum. And then Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. This is a brand, brand the brand I can't pronounce again. Clonage, I don't know. I'm so bad at this. And then this is the Josie Moran Argan Oil. And then on top of that, I bought one of their like little sample bags. And this has the Bum Bum Cream. This is the Kylal's Ultra Facial Cream. And then Glow Recipe Avocado Melt. Sugar, which I do like that one. Or Fresh, sorry. But the Sugar Caramel Lip Balm. This is a Corez Foaming Cleanser. And then Super Goop Everyday Lotion with Sunflower Extract, which is nice. What's this one? This is the Island of Paradise Sun Correcting Self Tanning Drop. That's exciting. I didn't see this one. And then more Hums Daily Cleanse. So I have samples for days, <laughs> like literally. If I ever travel or go on vacation, I have a million and a half things I could use. And then moving on to the more makeup stuff. This is the Milk Makeup Lip Kush in chromatic color is that i think this is the clear one yeah this is the all clear one again i can't get enough lip products and especially anything cbd related i will buy it out another milk makeup oh this is the cannabis hydrating face mask forgot this is another skincare i have the milk makeup hydro grip and i was pretty excited for this one i have the fenty beauty cheeks out bronzer i'm afraid this might be afraid this might be a little dark for me i haven't opened this yet i love this packaging though mm, i don't know i can't quite tell yet but we'll probably use that and then i have the fenty beauty cheeks out blush and it's crazy to me how tiny it is oh no is this the color i ordered yeah this is the color i ordered this looks crazy dark this looks almost purple slash maroon so i don't know about that one 
I got the Smoke Sessions by Melt Cosmetics. Just again, anything CBD, put it on my face. And I've been kind of into greens lately anyways, so I was actually kind of into this color story like that. This is the Fenty Beauty. This is the Moroccan Spice palette. It was on sale and I kind of couldn't resist. And again, look at this packaging. Oh. And this color story is actually like pretty up my alley just because there's so many different like neutral shades in there and like very, very wearable shades. I love that. Then I got the Norvina palette by ABH, which again, I, I'm a sucker for like, oh, this is velour. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. The, all these shades are just, they're beautiful. They're just so pretty and like wearable for me because I'm just such a neutral gal. And then I know this is kind of a no-no because Too Faced is canceled, but again, I love neutrals and it was on sale. So I got the Love Your Peaches kit and it has a better than sex full-size mascara. This is a peach puff matte lips color and then the matte palette and i mean but i mean it's, it's got beautiful colors in it though no shimmers it says mattes on it well that's disappointing and then my most exciting one the new norvina palette i just recently got into abh products when i got my what is it mdrazy palette and so like now i'm kind of obsessed but again so many wearables but at the same time like i would so go out of my comfort zone Oh, beautiful, gorgeous, love it. So that completes my haul. This video is already very long, but what I will do immediately after this video is make another video doing a look with the products that I did get and testing them out. So if you want to see that video, it'll probably be up the day after this video is up because I would obviously upload this one first because it makes most sense, duh. So if you want to see that video, stay tuned. But that's all I got for this video. I feel like I should have gotten a lot more for how much I paid. But then again, then I remember makeup's like super expensive. So I'm not really surprised. But quarantine has made me do a lot of shopping. But now that quarantine is kind of over and we're getting back to our normal everyday lives-ish, I'm able to like take a step back and be like, okay, I bought so much stuff. I need to not. But I'm really excited to test a lot of this stuff out. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe like this video turn that bell icon on because we have more hauls coming as well as more try on videos and socials are linked all down below that's it for this video stay tuned for the next one